This song, like all our songs, <laughs> are dedicated to children. So we get to the front of the Helpwood store and he says, I'm going to tell everyone what's healthy in a Helpwood store and what isn't. And all I was thinking to myself was, I hope he doesn't take us over to the produce department. Because I hated the taste of fruits and vegetables. Did I mention that? Take a wild guess where he took us. Right over to the produce department. And he says, here it is, fruits and vegetables. That's all you need to get better. And I said to him, what happens if we don't like the taste of fruits and vegetables? I'll never forget, he looked at me and he said, who are you? <laughs> Well, I told him who I was and I told him what I was doing there and I said I had something called inflammatory bowel disease, also known as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and I'd like to get rid of it, but I'd like to get rid of it. And he said, we could do that with no problem. I said, no, I don't want to cut my colon out. He said, why would you say something crazy like that? I said, because that's what my doctor told me. He said, no, he was from a place called Hippocrates Health Institute, which was a raw food health spa that I had moved right next to without even knowing what raw food was or what this place was. And that's why I kept seeing a van. And sick people from all over the world go there. Unfortunately, some go there as a last resort instead of using wisdom and going there as a first resort. But the bottom line is people go there and on a raw food diet, they're reversing their diseases. They're reversing the condition of their health from bad to good and so on. So I went there and I got all these books and a whole bunch of books and I'll never forget, I was a negative thinker. I didn't always smile, I wasn't always a positive thinker, I was a negative thinker. When I was walking there the first day, or driving my car up there, I saw a lady in a wheelchair. And I said, this place can't be that good, this lady's in a wheelchair. <laughs> so I got all these books and everything else, I went home and I read them all. By people, by ladies named like Ann Wigmore, by, by Brian Clement, who was actually a fellow at the health food store, by Victoria Skovinskis, and all these other health authors. And, and I, I got all these books by them and I went home, and I spent three weeks just searching those books. I didn't leave my house for three weeks practically, I just read those books. I was so excited to go and, and, and learn more about the raw food diet after, after reading this, uh, these books and everything else. So I go there and uh, I remember I was driving up there three weeks later and I saw what was either this lady's twin sister or this other this lady had a miraculous recovery because it was the same lady running in front of the place. And me still thinking negative, I said, this place is so bad, they got a lady out of a wheelchair to run out of here. <laughs> but they didn't. This lady recovered from her condition. Now, I'm not saying everyone's going to recover in just three weeks, but what I'm saying, I can guarantee everyone will improve from their condition if they start doing things that go along with what the body needs and not going against it. Well, that's what this lady was doing. And after seeing that and reading these books, I was excited. I was so excited and ready to do this program. I was about 99% sure. But I don't do anything unless I'm 100%. So, uh, I was ready to eat raw foods. I had to be 100% sure. But I had to hear it from one more person that it would work. So I called my doctor up in New York City. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to get well. I'm going to cure myself from, uh, from inflammatory bowel disease. She said, how are you going to do that? I said, I'm going to go on a raw food diet. Will this help me? She told me exactly what I needed to hear to stay in this path. She said, there's no medical studies to prove there's any connection between the raw food diet and inflammatory bowel disease and healing it. In fact, somebody with my condition, that would be very bad and dangerous for me to do that. So when she told me that, I knew I was on the right path. <laughs> that was the last time I spoke to her. I started eating the raw food diet, and people asked me, how long did it take me to get well? And I give them two answers. My first answer is immediately. As soon as I eliminated the things that were causing my problem, my problem went away. The other answer is, after doing it all these years, is I'm still healing. Because each day I feel better than the last day. So here I was doing this, and I was so excited. Let me tell you, I was so excited. I gave a new word to the word zealous. A new meaning to this word. I mean, I was the crazy guy in front of the supermarket telling people, pointing in their baskets, telling them that they were going to die if they kept eating that food. And they were just like running away from me. They wanted to do nothing with me. I got to be known as that crazy guy. I mean, I couldn't go anywhere. I was known as that crazy guy in, in West Palm Beach. It got to a point I had no friends or anyone else, and everyone thought I was crazy. I couldn't live there anymore. I had to move. I wanted to go somewhere where I fit in. So I moved back to New York City. <laughs> and I promised myself I wouldn't talk about this ever again. I'll never mention about raw foods. I'll do it, but I wouldn't tell anyone about it. So here I am in New York City doing my thing, and... And, and then one day morning, I was on the train, going to the gym really early to go work out and exercise. And I see this young, attractive lady on the train. And, and I figured I'd talk to her to find out how she looked so healthy. 
And when she gave me her answer, I thought I was on candid camera. She told me she was on a raw food diet. Five o'clock in the morning in New York City on the subway. Some, and I'll never forget my reply. I looked at her. And I don't know why I whispered, but I did. And I said, is anyone else doing this here? <laughs> and she said she wasn't a young lady. She was a grandmother who had three grandkids. And she worked for the New York uh, Transit Authority at night shift. And she was able to do that because she had so much energy from the raw food diet she was eating. And she said, and perhaps there were two groups that were doing this there. One of them was led by a fellow named Matthew Grace, and another of them was led by a fellow named David Jubb, who to this day are still teaching these. So I went to these groups and I continued to teach raw food in, in, within these groups, but I wasn't going to talk about it with outside of these groups. Until a friend of mine called me up one day who hadn't known my story. We lost touch because he went away to medical school. And uh, he didn't know my story, and he called me up one day and he said he had something called inflammatory bowel disease. Have I ever heard of it? <laughs> and I said, not only have I heard of it, but I've cured myself of it. He says, did you get your colon cut out? I said, no. <laughs> Why? He said, because in my medical school, they say that's the only cure. I said, no, I simply changed my diet and my lifestyle and I got better. He said, that's impossible. I said, why? He said, because in medical school, they teach me there's no connection between diet and, and the condition. I asked him if he knew my doctor. <laughs> he actually didn't know my doctor, but that's what they trained in medical school. Doctors aren't trained uh, to, to cure illness. They're trained to control it. They don't know. They're legal drug dealers to a certain degree. They don't know what's better or not. And I convinced him. I said, you know what? This is what I did. It worked. You got nothing to lose. Why don't you try it? So I convinced him to try it. He told me what should I, he asked me what I should, he should do. I said, go on a juice diet, fresh juices for 24 hours, and we'll take it day by day. And he said, you sure? I go, I'm telling you, it's going to work. We'll take it day by day. It has to be fresh juices. I said, I'll even come there and help you make the juices because I know how it is to live with this illness. He said, no, I'm a doctor. I know it all, and I can take care of it. I said, call me tomorrow. <laughs> and that evening, his mother called me up screaming at me, telling me I tried to kill her son, and if I ever spoke to him again, she's going to call the police and have me arrested. And I didn't know what was happening, but I, didn't, I wasn't looking to find out so soon. <laughs> well, a couple of days later, he called me up from the hospital. And he said, I'd like you to come down here. I'm in the hospital. And I said, is your mother there? <laughs> and he said, no, why? And I told him, never mind, where are you? I went to go visit him. As soon as I went in the office that day in, in, the, room, in the room, he said, that crazy thing you told me to do with the diet almost killed me. I got rushed to the hospital. I said, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I'm not going to tell anyone about this anymore. He said, but I don't have colitis anymore. I said, wait a second. It worked. He said, no, I got rushed here. And I had to remove my colon. Oh. And I said, I'm never going to talk about this again. And I never was going to mention anything about raw foods ever again until I asked him one more question. And when he gave me the answer, that changed my life. The question I asked him was, what fresh juice did you fast with? His answer, Gatorade. Oh. What fresh glow-in-the-dark blue fruit will give you glow-in-the-dark blue fruit juice? It's not out yet. I hear they're working on it. Don't be too surprised. I guarantee you the majority of people out there in the world believe that Gatorade is fresh juice because you have Michael Jordan on TV saying it's fresh and so on. People don't know the difference. Little kids think it's fresh, people think it's fresh, and, and it says fre made with fresh juice, and that's what they think. Well, we know it's not. So that right then and there, I decided I was going to spend the rest of my life, I don't care how many people call me crazy, letting people know what true health was and so on. And I was thinking, how can I get this done? How can I get this message out there? And at the time, there was a lot of these infomercials on TV. We had the Juice Man. Remember that guy? With the small eyebrows and the little energy? <laughs> well, he was on TV, and there was other lady, Susan Powder, stopped the insanity. Remember her? And I was like, that's it. I'm going to have an infomercial on late night TV. I actually wanted it on daytime TV, but I didn't have the money. I'm going to have an infomercial on late night TV about the raw food diet that's going to help change everyone's health. Has anyone here seen my infomercial on late night TV? That's because I haven't had the money yet to do that anymore. <laughs> I once asked that question and somebody actually raised their hand. <laughs> it must have been a vision or something. <laughs> it left me speechless. <laughs> but I had to come up with the next best idea. And the next best idea was to write a book. And I traveled all over the world meeting people who've been eating a raw food diet for many, many years. And that's when I came up with this book, The Raw, diet, the raw Life, Becoming Natural in an Unnatural World. And there are interviews with many people uh, who have been eating a raw food diet for many, many years. Uh, and, and there's also before and after pictures in here. I